We can compare the process of finding asteroids to the process of figuring out where a golf ball is going to land after it's been hit. Now just imagine that instead of being able to see the golf ball continuously throughout its entire flight, I only have a handful of freeze frame snapshots of it while it's moving. And now I've got to figure out where it's going to go. So first of all, I've got to correctly distinguish the golf ball in the frame from all other objects in the frame, say trees or birds or even other golf balls that may not be the same one. Once I've identified the golf ball in each of the frames, I need to use what I know about the laws of gravity to correctly fit a trajectory to it so that I can figure out where it finally lands. In the same way, when we look for asteroids, we have to just take snapshots of different parts of the sky and distinguish the asteroid from stars, from galaxies, and from any other transient phenomenon like, say, cosmic rays. Then we have to use the laws of gravity to fit a model orbit to it and figure out where it's actually going to go in the end.